Welcome. Okay, we're going to jump right into doing a voltage source with a resistor divider, but then we're going to we're going to add a twist to it. So we're going to start talking about stepping or sweeping. This concept is very important um, and allows you to save a lot of time in trying to get answers or, or conclusions, uh, which is very important, especially because if you work in a corporate setting, uh, your manager is going to want uh, lots of information, uh, critical information about if we should do this one thing or not, and he wants it tomorrow, or it should have been done yesterday. So being able to get the answers quickly is definitely advantageous for you in your career. All right, so we're gonna uh, we did 10k resistors, although the bottom one's not going to matter because we're actually gonna we're gonna vary that one dynamically. We're gonna set the input here signal to in and this to out. Okay, we are ready to. I'm just going to double check this real quick. Sign 5 volts and 100 hertz. Okay, so very similar to what we did in the last uh, the last installment. We're going to go to transient, and we have... Um, I'm just going to turn that off so I can show you what it looks like without. Okay, right there. Similar to what we did last time. We have a voltage input, 5 volts to minus 5 volts. Its output is 2.5 volts to minus 2.5 volts. Okay, great. But... What what would happen if I wanted to vary that bottom resistor? If I wanted to look at what would happen if its value changed over time? So I go into the stepping um, button and I choose R1. Um, it, this may be presented to you like this. And there might be nothing there and you're, you have to, oh no, I have to decide what to do here. But you would click R1. That's what you would do. So I've already done that, R1. And I've chosen a, a, the certain parameter that I want to vary, and you can choose the resistance value or the temperature coefficient, one, that's TC1. That's the linear temperature coefficient, and then TC2. I forget if it's the quadratic or if it's the uh, exponential, but it doesn't matter. We'll talk about it in another video. So then you have your values. What do you want to vary it from, 5K to 20K or to 200K? I don't know. It depends on, on what you want to do and how much processing time you want to invest in this. Uh, right now, I have it from 5K to 20K, so that means that if I'm doing 1K installments, that means it's going to go 5K, 6K, 7K, all the way up to 20. Uh, that shouldn't have a big issue on the processor that I'm using, central processor that I'm using right now for my computer. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna run that and see what happens. Okay, so it gives you this nice sweep now. So now I can I can vary the resistances over over a single condition and then see which one I liked. And, and if I zoom up into it, or at least put my cursor over it, okay, that's what happens when I do 5K. That's what happens when I do 6K or 7K or whatever. So I can exit out of that and be like, oh, I really liked that. So now it's going to be 6K. Uh, maybe I did, maybe I don't. I don't know. It's just a kind of a little role play, but run, and that's the waveform that I was interested in for the output of my circuit. For this given response or this given input, uh, I get that kind of response. So uh, this can be very effective if you, are, uh, if you are looking at a variety of values and having to choose one of them or choose a set of options that will fit whatever the need is. Uh, we'll, we can get into other things uh, later on, like the temperatures and the models and all that stuff, but I wanted to show you that. Thanks for watching.